Yo, what's up, everybody? This your guy, Dan Tanner, the bad boy attack. This is my review of the LG K30. Yes, indeed, people. I've had this device for quite a while, ran it through its courses. You know what I'm saying? I use this as my daily driver for about a week or so. And people, I'm a power user, meaning that I use this phone right here like I use the rest of them. I use my phones like a damn computer. Yes, indeed. I mean, I handle all my business and all my personal stuff right here. And then a phone second. And then a damn gaming center third. You know what I'm saying? So I really they use this damn phone a whole lot. So I'm going to let you guys know the things that I'm feeling about this phone. But then I'm going to let you know what I'm not feeling about the phone too. So enough of me yapping. It's time to make it happen. Let's get to the good stuff first. The first thing that I'm feeling about this phone, got to take it to the big screen, people. The build quality. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Matte finish. Metal back. Not bad at all. Very well put together. Even got a fingerprint sensor slash power button, which is a good look. Still has the headphone jack. It doesn't have USB-C yet, but I'm not tripping. It's cool. As long as I can plug it up and charge it, I'm good. Especially for the price point. And that's the second thing that I like about this phone. The price is very nice. Let's go to the damn website. Let's roll. Right here on Xfinity.com backslash mobile, this is the price. If you want to finance it, it's $7.50 a month. But if you want to buy it flat out, $179.99. Man, that price point right there is stellar. Yes, indeed. And that ain't all. If you go ahead and buy the device from Xfinity Mobile, they'll give you $150 back. So basically, you're spending a dirty $30 for this damn phone. That kind of price point for this build quality, it ain't the best build quality in the world, but it's mad solid, people. You can't beat it. It's pretty damn dope. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. The next thing that I'm feeling about this phone, the rear camera performance. Yes, indeed. I done did a video and picture demonstration video to let you guys know and see for yourself. And y'all be the judge if that camera smacks or if it was just whack. To me, the camera was pretty damn good for a budget device. No doubt about it. Is it as detailed as a DSLR or some of the flagships up there like a Samsung or an iPhone? Nah, but the pictures came out pretty damn good and decent light. If you don't believe me and you ain't seen the, um, the picture video, go ahead and watch it. It is what it is. Not bad at all. So as a package overall, even though the, on the video set it doesn't have OIS, optical image stabilization, SI. Them videos still came out pretty damn good. So as an overall package on the camera, get a thumbs up for me. Not bad at all, not bad at all. The next thing that I'm feeling about this phone, I gotta look at it, the battery life. It only has a 2880 milliamp hour battery up in here, but it lasted all damn day. No matter what I did, it held in there like a champ. And that's pretty damn good because I was quite worried because last year I had LG's other entry level phone, the LG X Charge and everything. And that battery life was pretty good in that phone as well. And it had a slightly, it had a bigger battery as well. But honestly, this 2880 kept up, keeps up right with it. It might not be, it might not last as long by a slight margin, but it does its thing. Hey, and I, I totally endorse it and, and, and approve the battery life on this phone. It's not bad at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The next thing that I'm feeling about this phone is the call quality. I heard everybody else crystal clear. <laughs> they heard me crystal clear. No, no drop calls or nothing. Everything was pretty damn cool. Not bad, not bad, LG. The next thing that I'm feeling about this phone is that they fixed the skin on it. Yes, indeed, they fixed the skin on the damn phone. Last year, it was that hideous LG skin. I call it the booger green skin because it was just ugly and nasty looking, but they fixed that, added a couple more features in there to where you can just black out your whole phone like I did by going into themes and everything and selecting high contrast theme, it blacks out your phone and you can swag it out like you need to swag it out. LG, that's a good look, way to improve in 2018 with your entry level phone and everything. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So people, those are the things I'm feeling about this LG K30. Not bad at all, yes indeed. But now, it's time to get to the things that I'm not so much feeling about this damn phone. Hold on, let me fix my collar before I holler. You dig, you dig. The first thing I'm not feeling about this phone is the front-facing camera. 
Now, yeah, you can see who I am and everything on the front facing camera, but it has a blue tint that was kind of annoying at times. It had me looking like a trapped out Smurf. I, I'm not, I, nah, I, I'm not feeling that. Y'all need to go ahead and adjust the hue settings or whatever in that front facing camera because that ain't right, bro. That ain't, that, that, that ain't gonna get it. That ain't gonna get it. Next thing I, I don't like about this phone, no fast charging. Nah, love the headphone jack, but no fast charging. Last year, the X-Charge had fast charging, but no fingerprint sensor. But this year, they got a fingerprint sensor, but no fast charging. Yeah, balancing the budget, but hella slow is going to take over a couple of hours to charge it from like 10% and up to full charge. Really, 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 really damn slow. Yes, indeed. Man, and people, that's basically the only couple of things that I don't like about this phone because it is what it is and I like it and people for the price this is a nice package this ain't bad with the snapdragon 425 on deck it gets my respect so in that order <laughs> I gotta put a stamp on it you know what I'm saying BAM there it is the antenna just put a stamp on it yes sir yes sir so people that just about does it for this one so if you like what you saw and like what you heard please give your guy a thumbs up because that's official and I really appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner, huh, then do that too because that's official too. All right, everybody. Get money. Get respect. And enjoy your tech. Be easy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.